when I got up, I found this little guy. His poor little legs were wrapped in all this stuff. So, I'm trying to get him back to life here. He's moving. Yes, there he goes. I think little Frogman is going to make it here. I'll check back later. Good luck, little friend. <laughs> so today I'm on a mission to find out more information about getting financing for a new business venture that Amy and I are looking into. So wish me luck. So apparently they've changed locations. So we got to go to their new building. See you then. Well, strike two. Uh, I found them but they don't do commercial lending anymore. So I have to try somewhere else. See ya. Headed into the local bank now. So hope it all goes well. There is no way this scale can be accurate. That's what I weighed in high school. What? Well, another meeting. Thing is, I know it can be tricky when trying to put all the pieces together, but I'm feeling pretty confident about everything. Let's go review some numbers. Okay, so a million dollar property is going to require $200,000 as a down payment. So that would be a loan amount of $800,000 at an interest rate of about 5% amortized over 20 years is looking at a payment of just about $5,300 a month. That doesn't take into consideration closing costs and fees, but we'll talk about that another time. Check me. I wonder how Frogman is doing. Then you got taxes and insurance to tack on top of that. I'm going to guess that's about $1,000 a month, even though I feel that's a little low. But then we're up to about $6,300. The Academy is currently able to support that payment on its own. And then with a new venture in place, of course, that would help with anything else. But that still leaves the problem of coming up with a $200,000 down payment. That I've ever seen. So, if 
if I can figure out how to get $50,000 from four people, probably one of them being myself, we should be able to put together the necessary funds for the down payment. Of course, still have to come up with the closing costs and all the additional fees, but maybe I can work that into the loan somehow. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. So now, all we have to do is tell Amy and start searching for a place. So overall, got a lot accomplished. I'll see you at home. First, let's go check on Frogman and see if he's okay. Good news, he's gone. That means he must have made it out alive. Good job, Frogman. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe, and especially tell a friend if you enjoyed it. Let's get our subscribers up to a thousand. Thanks again, see you next time. Alright, so I came to Publix because there's no way that scale can be accurate. That makes more sense.